Today, we'll be taking a look at the leveling legs on this Whirlpool electric dryer. Be sure to visit appliancevideo.com where you will find thousands of repair videos on the latest technology. And for a limited time, you can save big on an annual membership and take advantage of all of our premium benefits. Appliancevideo.com. Do it right the first time. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for the proper voltage. You will need the following tools to complete this repair. To begin, first we need to either tip the dryer on its back or on its side. I am going to tip it back against the wall to hold it here. And then underneath, we'll have clear access to our leveling legs. Now, the main reasons why you need to access your leveling legs, of course, would be to either level the unit to make it look better, or you may need to replace it. Sometimes they've scooched across the ground, it's broken off, and now the dryer is very wobbly. To take it off, of course, it's just threaded in and it's plastic. You can either use a wrench on the bottom, or sometimes you can use your hand, pull it out, and then set it to the side. When installing your new leveling leg, Make sure you line it up straight. You do not want to make this get cross-threaded or damaged because it is just plastic. So you'll make sure you can screw it in by hand first. If you need to use the wrench later, go ahead, but get it to where you need it to go. We will tip back down the dryer, and this will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click the like and subscribe to our channel.